Like the title of the video says, I decided to quit social media for the past three months. And on this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the key insights that I learned during this time. I want to clear up that when I say quit social media, I'm specifically referring to Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I did keep YouTube, but mainly because I am posting on YouTube. I truly believe in being a creator, not a consumer. That is why I decided to keep YouTube. But deleting the social media apps from my phone. A few months ago, I was going through a period where I decided that I really needed to focus on myself and my work. And I needed to remove all distractions. And the biggest distraction in today's day and age, of course, is social media. I decided to quit cold turkey. I just deleted all the apps without telling anyone. And if you've seen these types of videos before, pretty much similar in regards to what people say when they quit social media. It's just you remove so much mental garbage from your mind, from your mental bandwidth. You, it's amazing how much time, little pockets of time just add up when you're mindlessly scrolling or even just consuming content, even if it's for the purposes of studying it. it takes a lot of time. If you look at it week by week, it really, really adds up. So of course, quitting immediately gives me back a lot of time that I can deploy in other areas, focusing on myself or working towards any of my goals. That was the biggest insight in regards to how much time I got back. That's no surprise. The second biggest insight is that it is interesting at how by simply deleting an app, I can remove someone from my existence. And I'm not just talking about celebrities, influencers, these type of people. I'm talking about people you may actually know in real life, know in real life. When I deleted specifically Instagram, I, I was used to watching certain people daily, I would say, or pretty frequently people that are not famous. I'm talking about people that I've met in real life. And when I deleted the app, I, rem I remember catching myself like a month or two in where I just randomly remembered about, oh, I wonder how so-and-so is doing. And I started to think and realize that the only way, the only medium in which I am aware or even in contact with this person is because of Instagram. Scratch that, not even in contact, just that I'm even aware of the life, the existence of this other person. And it's not someone I dislike, but it really got me thinking about how, I don't wanna say unmeaningful or meaningful, or it really got me thinking about the meaning a relationship has because if all it takes is you deleting an app to completely remove someone from your life, is that person really important in your life? Questions that came up during this period, which I found very interesting and provoked a lot of self-reflection. Because on that note, it also highlights the people that reach out to you or stay in touch with you outside of social media. Like, think about it. Think of the people who, if you disappeared off the face of the earth, would they still reach out to you if, let's say, if you completely deleted your IG profile, your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever? Are they someone who are going to send out a message to you, check up on you, see how you're doing, just catch up? And that, I would have to say, maybe at this point in my life, again, now that I'm valuing a lot the relationships that I have in my life, or at least trying to identify who and which are the meaningful relationships that I have in my life, that was completely mind blowing. Just wow, all it takes is delete an app, boom. I no longer know about this person. And it's, it's funny because when you're constantly consuming social media, you consume so much content and you see the life of other people, influencers, etc. So much that you become consumed. It, it also turns on you to your reality to a certain extent. And by deleting it, you can completely alter that. 
and expose yourself to new things and actual reality or at least wake up to the fact that what you're seeing there is not even real. Like, it just stops. You delete the app and it just stops. It keeps going, right? But it doesn't, it doesn't take away from your mental bandwidth. It's like a relief of sorts, which at this point I've come to really appreciate. So, yeah, I would have to say those two things, of course, just gaining back a lot of time. It's amazing how much time is wasted, despite me actually being very intentional and muting a bunch of stories, muting people, trying to be very selective in regards to the people that I watch or interact with or consume. I try to filter it down as much as possible so I waste as least amount of time as possible. But then when it comes to the relationship part, just thinking about that, it's like, wow, these people are gone. Got me thinking, it was interesting. And it's funny how also that constant exposure to certain things, certain topics, certain people, will amplify the importance of said individual when in reality it's not that important. I don't know, things that I like to think about. But yeah, that's what I wanted to share mainly at least. I'm just at a point where I really want to be very, very selective of how I spend my time. And I decided that unless I'm going to be producing content or posting content, then really I don't want to be involved in those apps. I like my peace of mind too much and I must protect. There's a quote, who says that? Guard the gates of your mind. I can't remember who said it, but it's a great quote. And yes, I completely understand and completely agree with it. But yeah, sharing this as always, just to provide some insights, my experiences, so that maybe people can relate to it, find it helpful, get some value from it. But that is my update, or at least my take on that quick experiment I've since. Actually today, I downloaded the apps again today, but it's with the intention of posting content because that's where I see the future going, the creator economy, and I don't wanna get left behind. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave any comments down below if you have any. Don't quit social media so you can watch my videos. And I'll catch you on the next one.